Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for watching one of my videos. Today I'm going to show you how to obtain the skull of Nansepwe. You see here, you got this base, it's got four skulls on it. Each one of these skulls has got a different set of markings on it, so you got to pay attention to those markings. Because there's four altars located throughout the map. You got two in the bunker, one in the down plane area, and you got one right here in our spawn area. They, you notice that uh, this set of markers on this one here looks like uh, two triangles with a long line. I just call that two. Then the other marking will be a large triangle. So if it's got, say, the one skull has the two triangles, the one triangle, and the two, two triangles, I'll say it's two, one, two. So I'll know I'll have to go back to the, go back to the base and get the skull that, that looks like that and bring it back to the appropriate altar. Now this is here is done. The skull is going to sit back down, get 500 points for completing this challenge, this back where it take it back, put it back on the base, and we'll move on to our next altar. Now these next set of altars I do after I obtain the KT4 and you'll find out why. Places here and we're good to go. Okay, now we are located in the bunker area, and this is the door to the left. We'll come back here and match up the skull. You see those markings. But this is the door to the left before you go to the power. See how they're jumping out of that green spot. Now I'm a sh you're gonna see the reason why I wait to do these next three skulls until I have the KT4. Because in the next three areas, you get spiders that spawn with you. The spawn is the only area you don't. Now watch this. You pull out your KT4, you hold the trigger down, let all three lights light up, and you put a blast right at the base of the altar, and it's going to kill the zombies. The zombies are not going to be able to destroy the process of filling up the skull. Pick your skull up. Take it back to the base, that's two skulls down, two to go. It's that simple, easy peasy. Now we're at the plane. See, Nikolai can also roar. Put my coat down right there at the base. Let it do the work for me. This is a tight area to run. You want to be a little careful, especially with the large mutant zombie that's running around. You are different. I know how that feels. I am safe. But you can see the KT4 makes this job extremely easy. Once it's full, it sits down, all the zombies go away, you go pick it up, bring it back to the base. Three skulls down, one to go. Really, this KT4 makes this job so much more easier. We toil, we labor, we fight. Now this one's located in the bunker, down by where you build flavor. the KT4 at. It is... oh, you go through it here, up. all the way to the back, go down the spiral staircase, into that room. KT4 is there on the left-hand side. Your altar is here on the right-hand side. Place it down. You'll get a mutant zombie that will come up. I'm going to put... Wait for my zombies to come up and get close. I'll put a blast down. So it'll last the longer. There's my mutant zombie. It's also nice, too, if, uh, if you have mule kick and you don't have just a shotgun like I'm using. But you can see, I mean, the spiders, the zombies, the KT4 that you put on the ground it just destroys everything skulls done pick it up place it back on the altar or the base here and we will open up our path to the skull of Nansepwe tree's gonna lift up not going down there are we and here we go 
there is the skull of Nansepwe. Okay, let's go down and get this started. You're gonna go up to the skull, you're gonna press X. Keepers will start coming out of the walls. You know, you can shoot them. You can stab them. Doesn't make a difference how far away from the skull they are. Their spirits will still go into the skull. It's really easy. It's probably a little too easy. They probably should have made this a little harder. But, uh, also, I'm running a 100 subscriber giveaway. So, if you would, subscribe to the channel. As soon as I get 100 subscribers, I will close that giveaway. There'll be a Glim link. Well, you have to go to the video that, that's in the description. 100 subscriber giveaway video. In that video, there's a Glim link to uh, take it to the page where you have to go do a few things. And if I get 250 subscribers before September 1st, then I'll be giving away a Call of Duty Legacy Edition Infinite Warfare Modern Warfare. So that's a free $80 gift to a lucky somebody if I can obtain 250 subscribers between now and September 1st. But that's down the road. First goal is 100. As soon as that 100 is over with, I'll be giving away at least minimum two prizes, maybe four, depending on how fast I get to my 100. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.